and welcome back to the safe mode stream where we're playing Lost in Time. We're about halfway through the game at this point, and when we left off, we got the small box. Let's take a look at this. Oh. Well, the top kind of slid there. Ah, there's a lock. He uses key. No. I wonder if we look around this box a little bit. Maybe there's like a hidden compartment or something. Oh, there we go. The secret opening. I refuse to call anything a mistavania. I mean, basically what this is, is a graphical adventure game. Anyway, Zero called it. The quote-unquote magic gun was in that box. Oh, what is this? Well, thank you for the $6.17 donation. That should have shown up on the, uh, on the overlay, but it didn't. Oh, well. Let the shooting begin. Um, but yes, I, I appreciate any amount, whether it's, uh, you know, a tip, uh, subscription on Twitch or, you know, recurring uh, support on Liberape. Much appreciated. Whatever you can, whatever you can spare. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, where are we? Okay, so now we have to pick up the cage, because that seems like a great idea. A bird that's trying to tattle on us. Just carry it off carry it off with us. No big deal. Trapdoor, uh, okay. Now we gotta go to the mid deck. And all the way to the back. Now that opened up before, and it opened up when we pulled this ring. Let's pull it again. And what if we put this cage here? It seems a lot wider than it was per, uh, that I can remember at least. It did make a noise. That's good. So this is the trapdoor to Yoruba's cell. The lock has moved. It moved halfway. We use this key. No. Let's see. Oh, okay. It moved halfway, and that's your hint. So as it turns out, you not only put the cage in there, you take it back out. I don't think there's anything else. In there. there we go. The lock has completely moved. The rod doesn't hold the door. It's not locked. We just have to open the trap door. Okay. There we go. Ah, there you are, woman. I see you kept your word. Yes, I was able to escape the captain and his second-in-command. Ah, Melchior is coming down. 
Yes, I know I'm late. Are you the famous Yoruba? Hello, my friend. Yoruba, let me introduce Melchior. He complains all the time, but he'll help us get out of here. Thanks, both of you. But before I leave, I must find my necklace. A magic scallop. It must have fallen between the planks. Come on! Now what's so magic about this scarab? It was given to me by my father, who received it from his father. It belonged to the pharaoh Amenhotep, who was my ancestor. I cannot leave without it. Okay, it's a good luck charm. It may not matter anyway. I doubt that we can free Yoruba. He's tied to the ship. Well, don't be obnoxious. We can spare five minutes to look for it. After all, I have the captain's pistol. Yes, but you don't have the rings to make it work. Do as you please. It was your idea to come here. I'm waiting. Have I been muted this entire time and nobody told me anything? Oh, I was muted for the cutscene. Right, okay. Anyway, yeah, Melchior is um, kind of a ghost now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. So yeah, like I was mentioning, we put the pliers here, and these are the same pliers that we find in 1992. So we put these pliers, and they exist so that we can find them in 1992. How they exist is beyond me. And not like much else makes sense in this game. Let's see. Shiny. Yes, we we established this. Thank you. Oh, there goes. I think it done screwed up. Actually, we needed those pliers for something else. I didn't save. All right, how far back was that? Okay, we, uh, it's not too far back, but, uh, yeah. Yes, I know, I should have saved before I did that, Fridge, thank you. He used the revolver on the fridge. 
I mean, it would stop making noise, but uh, then it would stop working entirely, and that's definitely not what I want to do. I see you kept your word. Okay, we yes, can't skip this, unfortunately. In second in command. Ah, Melchior is coming down. Yes, I know I'm late. Are you the famous Yoruba? Hello, my friend. Yoruba, let me introduce Melchior. He complains all the time, but he'll help us get out of here. Complains all the time. Me, me, but me. before I leave, I must find my necklace. A magic scallop. It must have fallen between the planks. I mean, we, we did see the rest of Doralise's so body when we found those clothes. It was given to me by my father, who received And also in several father. scenes in uh, it chapter belonged one. to the pharaoh Amenhotep, who was my ancestor. I cannot leave without it. Okay, it's a good luck charm. It may not matter anyway. I doubt that we can free Yoruba. He's tied to the ship. Well, don't be obnoxious. We can spare five minutes to look for it. After all, I have the captain's pistol. Yes, but you don't have the rings to make it work. Do as you please. It was your idea to come here. Okay. Let's save again. Uh, let's see. Yep, Melchior turns into a ghost again. Uh... Click on the floorboards. Right, so you gotta use the pliers on this first. The necklace is attracted to metal as if it was a magnet. But I recognize this necklace. My father gave me one just like it. He said that his father gave it to him. Let me see. Ah, it's a magnet. That's why you can attract metal with it. Nothing magic about it. A magnetite, huh? And wasn't it mentioned that... Uh... The gun works on magnets. So now we have the revolver with the magnetite. And now we can use the pliers on the mast. Still can't get into that upper shelf though. Oh, but if we use the boat hook. Maybe we can reach up there. Melchior turned green, so I'm guessing that was the correct thing to do. Oh no, I'm breaking everything. Hmm. What if we use this sponge? No. This... Okay, here we go. Use cotton on mast. Melchior's having a day, just turning into every color imaginable. There we go. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum from the Hushfall Plantation. It's empty or pity. But uh, hey, we used the wet sponge before to take something off. Maybe we can take the label off of this. What good would that do? I don't know. But it's something that uh, we need to do. Anyway. Don't take this the wrong way. We're not shooting Yoruba. We're shooting his shackles. If we can find them. There they are. This shooting head on. That's it. He's free. 
But he was hurt and now he's fainted. Why don't we teleport with that thing, your time pass? Good idea. I must have the coordinates for the island. They're in my log. Let's see, where is it? You've lost your log again? I can't believe it. What a pitiful agent you are. You can still show me what you can do. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Well, take us to here, Einstein. The island's coordinates are on this piece of paper. Great. Now we can go there. Good. I'll take care of Yoruba. I'm going to set my time pass. Are you ready? Let's go. Darlies, how are you feeling? Is everything all right? Yes, it's better than the first time. Ah, Yoruba is regaining consciousness. He will need care. Yoruba, you must help us now. Tell us about Velvet and Jarlath. The master Jarlath, Velvet's husband, was always absent. Then Velvet turned her smiling eyes toward me and by heart forgot its troubles. Out of our love, Maximin was born. Jarlath knew that he was not his child, but even so, he gave him his name, De La Prunelière. Darlies, go and look over there. I understand everything. Your resemblance to Velvet, the child, can't you see? Wait! You mean that Yoruba is my father? Oh, that's incredible! Yoruba, tell me, how does one see Velvet discreetly? You must go and see Delia. Velvet often consults her. She lives close to Macandal, the healer. And if you go to the property ask for Serapion, he will help you if you say that I sent you. He knows everything that is happening on the island. A candle? A healer? Okay, I will tell him to come and heal you. Afterwards, I'll go and see Velvet and Serapion. What do you mean, you will go? I am the one who's supposed to go. You must stay here with Yoruba. Absolutely not. I'm the one who's supposed to take care of it. It's my life, isn't it? And can you see me staying here on the beach, alone with a slave? You can go and get this McCandle, and then we'll see. We need to stay in touch. Take this holocum. It works with solar power. And Dangway, welcome to chapter three. And guess what? This chapter has timed puzzles in it. So from now on, if we fail a puzzle, we may end up getting a game over screen. I will try to show it at least once. I'm gonna take this coconut. It seems like a very not adventure game thing to do. How about this kid? What are you doing there, little man? Don't be afraid. I just want to talk. My name is Amilka. I am hiding in order to follow Makandal, the healer. He is my father, but he doesn't want me. Makandal? Perfect. I must see him. I need him. Do you know where he lives? Of course, but I don't know what to do. My baby Maniku has fallen into the waterfall. He no longer has a mother. Poor darling. Without a mother and left alone by the father. Okay, I'll take care of your friend. Then you will help me.
Well, I guess the first thing to do is make sure that the Nanaku is warm. Let's wrap him with this. It'll help him get warm. Don't worry, he won't get pneumonia. All right. Uh, then we use the corkscrew on this coconut. And then the small pipe that we've been carrying that for the entirety of chapter two and never used, and by the way, that has had battery acid in it. We're gonna use this on the open coconut. This is and a mini bottle the for a mini baby. I'll leave you the bottle and a way to open it so you can feed him. Thank you, miss. My father's parrot is in the cage that you have. It knows me. I'd like to have it. Gallipo. McCandle's parrot. Then Captain Philibert and McCandle must know each other. I am willing to give you Gallipo, but don't forget your promise. Show me how to go to McCandle. He first presses on the stones in this order. Then he pronounces the word Majumbe and continues. Try it. All right, Majumbe. Okay. I pronounce the word Majumbe. Nothing happens. Amilcar, are you sure of it? It doesn't work for me, but I swear that McCandle is able to make it work by doing what I say. Hmm. Well, what if we make the parrot say it? Let's see if Gallopo is luckier than I am. This McCandle is well protected, mainly against women. Only this parrot could say it with its master's voice. I give it to you as promised. Here is Gallipo. Your father should have given it to you rather than to the captain. But I keep the cage because it has a double bottom. Say, could you get the key that is attached to Gallipo's leg? Get this, miss. Goodbye. Thanks for your help, Amilka. Now I will go and see my father. So that's a collection of things that just happened. There's a flat key. There's a double bottom in the cage. And that gives us some money. And now we have the Holocom and money. And I think we're about to get into... Um, one of those times that is a timed puzzle. First, how did you get here? Second, who are you? And finally, what do you want? I have seen your parrot, Gallipo. My name is Doralis, and I bring you a gift. Forget immediately the path that led you here, or bad luck will be yours. Blip. Is it a large gift? It is rather valuable. Okay, let's see. Ah, there is a slot in the door. Put your gift in there. It's a rather large gift, but we'll put it in the slot in the door. Here, have some money. Are you sent by the spirit of good or by the spirit of evil? Neither one. I simply need your skills. Because I am in a good mood, and since you have paid for the consultation, 
I will give you three minutes. You know Yoruba, don't you? He is wounded. He needs your help. The sorcerer who stole all my customers, the one who lives in the Rushfort plantation, little Biki's friend. Mm. Yes, I am here to tell him to leave the island. I am a relative of Madame Velvet. Ah, if you order him to leave the island, then we can do something. Right, and I must fix a certain Delia who keeps getting after me like a mad dog. To protect myself, I need a piece of clothing. Find it and bring it to me. You won't regret it. Not sure what happened at the end there, but, uh, whatever. How many save slots do I have, I wonder? Okay, so let's see. How can I help you? My name is Doralis. I have some good news for Velvet Rochefort. Her lover Yoruba is here and wants her. Ah, yes, I know about their affair. I'll tell her. Goodbye. There is another thing that I haven't told you. McCandle is taking care of Yoruba. I believe you know him? Yes. Right. That's interesting. I also have a love story, like Velvet's. Ah, McCandle, my love. He resists, he resists, because he knows my love will exhaust him. If you make him drink one of my potions, I will bring you Velvet. If it is a matter of love, I cannot refuse. Good. Come in, then. I am going to prepare a potion. Please, uh, sit down. I am going to prepare that. Where are my glasses? I can't see without them. Don't touch this. It's one of my tools. Of course, up there. And where is my old book now? Let's see. What are the ingredients for a pink mabuya? Arrange for McCandle to drink this and bring his glass to me. When you return, Velvet will be here. Except no, that wasn't good enough. All is lost. Doralise was not able to steal any of Delia's clothes from a candle. So what do we do then? How can I help you? Well, first of all, we sit through this cutscene again. I have some good news for Velvet Rochefort. But um, Ruber is here and wants her. The key here oh, is yes, the fact that um, there is another thing she didn't have her glasses on. She did see us take the, the mirror, you know him? but maybe she'll yes. miss if we take something else. Right. That's interesting. I also have a love story, like Velvet's. Ah, oh, McCandle, my love. He resists, he resists, because he knows my love will exhaust him. You thirsty, babe. If you babe. make him drink one of my potions, I you... will bring you velvet. If I'm not love, comfortable with this I plan. cannot refuse. Good. Come in, then. I am going to prepare a potion. Yeah, you sure are. Please, uh, sit down. I am going to prepare that. Of course. Up there. Let's grab this book real quick. And where is my old book now? Oh, I don't know. Where is your old book? We could give it to her. 
We just get the same screen though. We just gotta wait this out. And eventually. Me. I'm going to see if my old book is in the other room. We're gonna use this mirror on the spider, which scares it away apparently. Grab this clothing. And, uh, okay. We just wait a few minutes, I guess. I have looked behind there and I cannot find my old book. Have you seen it? Oh, thank you. Okay, we, we give it automatically. It. Let's see. What are the ingredients for a pink mabuya? So yeah, now she makes a potion and we've done the thing that we needed to do. Arrange for my candle to drink this and bring his glass to me. When you return, Velvet will be here. Candle will not be happy to learn that Delia knows a direct way to, to get to him. All is not lost. And now we're going straight from one timed event to another timed event. There is inside. Okay. And now, how did you get here? Don't forget that it is Delia's job to know the future. She knows everything. Oh, that woman. It is time for me to get rid of her. Ah, I see you have small payment I requested. Hmm, I recognize her scent. This piece of silk is perfect. Sit down. Shall we drink on it? A glass for you, one for me, and another one for the good spirit that protects me. Thank you. But let's not forget Yoruba. He's waiting for you. And then where is he now? He's on the beach with a friend. Well, let's drink to his departure. So, the spirit that watches over you, huh? Let's put this, quietly put this down. Let's get some light on the situation. Don't you think it's kind of dark in here? It's a shame, too. The sun is so nice outside. I don't like to appear indiscreet, but I am going to open it for a few moments. There we go. Let's uh, start yes, up the whole Do you need me, or will my image be enough? Yes, it worked. Melchior, thanks for your help. There we go. So now that Buddy is gone, we uh, do the thing that we were sure asked to do. Come back. The spirit has finished its drink and it has left. Drink this. You'll feel better. And, uh... He's too stunned to realize that I am stealing his glass. Mission accomplished. Good. You were able to make him drink the potion. I can't wait to see the result. Now you can talk with Velvet. She's here. But who are you? Delia told me that you know where Yoruba is. He's safe on the beach with one of my friends. But tell me, how did you become Mrs. Rochefort de la Prunelière? The plantation belonged to my father. He was a widower, and while still young, suddenly became very ill. About that time, Charlotte came into my life. When my father died, he wanted to marry me. I was so alone and confused, I accepted. 
He took my father's name and his fortune. Then he brought slaves here. With Yoruba, it was love at first sight. He's so proud, so honest, so kind. We had a child, and Jarlet did not care. Then suddenly, he decided to ship Yoruba's treasure to Europe. The baby is with Seleucy the cook. Come! Here is Seleucy. She takes care of the baby as if it was hers. Hello, Seleucy. Is everything okay here? Yes, the manager is very brutal, but he likes the manikus. Amilka, my son, raises them, and I cook them. I'm sorry, Amilka what? Amilka is your son? He told me he lost his mother. And besides, I took care of his maniku. And you ate it? Yes, it's him. He always makes up things. He told you that so you would like him. Velvet, maybe Lovely. you should take the baby far from here. What could happen? Isn't he safe here? Hmm. And what about Jarlet? But he doesn't want to harm Maximin. And Yoruba felt it was his duty to leave with the treasure of his tribe. Okay, go with Yoruba now. He's waiting for you. I'll stay here with Maximin. No, better not. The manager wouldn't like to see you here. <laughs> Doralise, bad news. It is not Macandal that we have seen on the beach. It's Jala. Macandal must be one of his men. He hurried to warn him. Jarlath recognized me. I'm his prisoner again. He oh, told me that he's ready to kill Maximin. It's only a matter of minutes. Doralis, save yourself. Well, that's, uh, that's great what's happening right now. I mean, he says save yourself, but like, what are we going to do? We're in 1840 and we have nowhere to go. Also, how is it that you're his prisoner and you still have access to your holocom? I would imagine that you probably also have access to your time whatsapp and you're able to just go somewhere else. No? Ah. Uh. And dang way. We gotta go back to... Follow the path from Delia's place. The candle kept this promise. I wonder where Melchior is. Weird that it, like, lets us go to the beach, but not back to Delia's place. There we go, McCandle's cabin. He's not gonna like us, is he? Listen, now that I have helped you, I don't want to be bothered anymore. Yoruba is resting at the village. But I can still do something for you. Here is some Privarol. Your tongue needs some rest. And one last thing. I found a passage from Delia's cabin. It no longer exists. Ha <laughs> ha! Good luck. Good luck. You'll need it. So now we got that, uh, Prevaro, or as the game calls it, Be Quiet. And now we gotta talk to Delia. Oh, that's you. I was hoping to see McCandle. The potion should be starting to work. Don't bother me anymore. In exchange, I will give you this inverter. It will change anything to its opposite. Well, let's use the inverter on the be quiet. Speakable. 
I wonder if we'll need this for anything. Mr. Serapion, your Uber advised me to come and see you. But you seem to have lost your voice. I don't know, he, he just seems kind of disinterested in the situation, personally, but like, we give him the speakable. Ah, Lordy! My memory has its voice again! You healed me! Thanks, kid! Serapion, you must help me. I have to see Seleucy. Do you know what's going on here? Ah, the plantation's history has been very sad since Jarlath come here from unknown country. Since you gave me back my voice, I will tell you everything I know. Jarlath hypnotized the girl to make her believe she was giving her father medicine while she was poisoning him. Oh, that is the evilest plot I have ever heard of. And now, he wants to kill little Maximin. Yes, the evil is still around. Beware of the long animal. The long animal? What do he mean? Do you have anything else for us? Serapion, help me! There must be a way to avoid the dog. Oh, yes, ma'am. The dog is guarding place. Unfortunately, I have nothing for you. Only this bag containing coarse salt. Okay. Maybe we want to get the dog salty. Ah, this dog looks pretty salty already. Oh. Grandmother, what long teeth you have. Um, so what is pretty much the only thing that we can do that makes any, like, that, that will lead, hmm. I don't know that this makes sense per se, but it's literally the only thing that, that could possibly do something. We use the inverter on the salt and what do we get? Sugar. I don't think sugar is the opposite of salt, but you know what? The dog likes it. Honestly, it looks like something from uh, WarioWare. See? He is a good boy. Just like pour, uh, pour a little sugar on me, honey. Oh, she has been drugged. Otherwise, Jarlath wouldn't have been able to get close to the baby. What's in this bag? It contains vanilla. Okay. It also contains a flower. Game doesn't tell you this. That is important to note. Okay, we've taken the things out of the bag. This flower is very important. It's extremely important. If I had not clicked on that flower, we would not be able to finish the game. You will understand shortly. So we heard about uh, Jarlath's plan to kill Maximin, right? Well, let's look at the script. There is an entire ass cobra in this crib. Maximin is breathing. He sleeps, poor darling. But if he wakes up, the, the he will move, and the snake will bite him. That's uh, I I guess that's one way to assassinate a baby. Let's see. So now there are some embers here. Obviously, if we touch them, it burns. We somehow put some some embers in the bag. I don't know how. There's no obvious way that we would have done so without burning ourselves or burning the bag up. 
but here we are. So what do we do with this bag full of embers, you might ask? Put it in the crib. Oh, wait, no. Let's see. Oh, we put it on the stool next to the crib. And decides, hey, it's warmer here. Let's uh let's go into this bag where it's warmer. And then what do we do with this bag? Chuck it in the fire. Well, the snake there was we go. roasting in the fire. Jarlop Furious appeared in front of me. Since you were able to save your great great grandfather, I will explain to you the ingenious plot that you wanted to foil. <laughs> My problem was to rapidly decontaminate the AM-1492 that I had stolen. I had the brilliant idea to hide it in my past, 3,000 years earlier in Egypt. <laughs> I had to marry the daughter of a rich planter in the Caribbean in order to obtain a ship and hide the treasure under the guise of trading slaves. In this way, it would be hidden from the time patrols and safe in a sunken ship near a manor I acquired in Europe. <laughs> Jarlot wanted to get rid of me, and this time without any middleman. I ran straight ahead. And somehow he gets ahead of us. Now if we just stay here... He's eventually just going to push us right off. So, I don't know. Uh, what a flower, little baby. Later, nerd. Jarlot had disappeared deep in the crevice. Overcome by emotion, I lost consciousness again. Oh, my head. What happened? You were hit on the head by a bandit, miss. Fortunately, I arrived in time. Your lawyer told me everything is okay. Well, Miss Dora, you haven't been very cautious. I asked you to wait in front of the entrance. I thought somebody would be in the manor. He could have killed you. But... you are Melchior! Then I haven't been dreaming? The travel in time, the sarcophagus, Yoruba and Velvet... Was all that true? Come on, I am Simart, your lawyer. I think you must be rather tired. The blow you received on the head must have confused you. Come on, everything is over now. literally winks at the camera, and that's how the game ends. There we go. That was Lost in Time. Pretty short game, and just the most some of the most bizarre puzzles that I have seen in an adventure game. Uh, this was one of Cocktail Vision's uh, later games, and uh, I was actually looking at Moby Games before the stream started, and discovered that uh, they had uh, two more games, I believe, after this. Um, one of them was Woodruff and the Schnibble, which I think I mentioned before. And then their final game was something called Urban Runner, uh, which, as I understand it, was developed for both DOS and Windows 3.1. And it also runs in Scum VM. And I might have a copy of- you, you, you know where this is going. <laughs> I am not playing it right now, but I am putting it in the queue 
and at some point we will be looking at Urban Runner because I I love uh, FMV games and that's exactly what it is. It is a four disc FMV game that I have never played before and never even heard of until I looked it up on Moby Games. So we're going to be checking that out at some point. But for now, that is going to do it for today's stream. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. Uh, Alex, Zero, Ricky, J-Pop, Tarion, and also the person who uh, sent in a donation. Much appreciated. You can do that over at streamelements.com slash coolyomzx slash tip. Or you can put in a recurring uh, donation over at LiberaPay, liberapay.com slash coolyomzx. Uh, you can also follow me on co-host at coolyomzx. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at... Uh, Give me a second. At 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time, it is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And then that takes us around the week around the wheel to our next Tuesday stream, which is going to be our next long run, which is your vote. I've picked two games from my queue, of course, not including Urban Runner. The straw poll is right there. You can go ahead and vote at any time, and the winner will be determined next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, four hours before the stream starts. Your options are A Little Journey or Anime Cutscenes. So go ahead and pick one of those, and that's what I'm going to be playing starting on Tuesday. So, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.